morning! Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, boxing day it is, but cows need feeding and bedding down. Um, I was lucky enough to get Christmas day off, but yeah, I've had to get up early, get myself over here and um, sort these cattle out. So, see what we'll get up to. First things first, I better get a mix done because we ain't got much feed left for these guys. Means opening these up, like so. Get this beast started up. I go and get one of the JCBs and start filling that up. So I've gone for the nine meter, as then my dad can get feeding if he gets out here. So I'll get these chucked in now, and then I think we'll do a bit of tidying up on this face. We'll probably put a few silage bales out while we've got the grab on, and it's mixing up in the mixer. I'll put out the silage, we'll get this on now, the sheer grab. Well, I've got it all grabbed out, maybe I'll show you a little bit later, um, it, doing the action. But it cuts it out and leaves a nice clean face so that there's less air gets to the silage and it doesn't go off. We're we'll going to uh, drop this off now, pull the mixer under the molasses, and crack on with that. So I'm on blowing straw, uh, first bale down here. You can see, giving them that extra bit did help them through, but I prefer to just give them a bit every day, try and double stuff up. Getting more and more straw put out. We're getting down it. In a little bit of time, JD Mix is going to be here, John Deere Mix. Um, he's on his way to a, I think it's like an engine, a stationary engine thing. If I've got time, I'll go with him. If he's going to be having to shoot off, then I'll stop here and get what I need done. Because I think, uh, yeah, I think I think the chances of me going is slim, but we can we can always hope. Looks like my mum's on washing the car. If you can see, because of that bright bright winter sun. We're on to the in between silage stack now. No more going into the field, which is good. We're bringing as much muck out. We've just got these guys strawed up now. And we're going in with the TM to feed them. Although they are eating the straw too. Put it down a bit thick there, didn't I, kid? to get turned round and they go and fetch another bucket for these two machines we'll be using both today and it looks like John Deere mix here already I've still got a number of pens to let me add in with the TM um, a few more bales of straw to put out and Mr Bob's art so yeah he's going to have to wait or get off and I'll just catch him up Looking a very nice day though. Mild for Christmas. You got your clean boots on? Hey? You got your fancy boots on today? Whip boots on. <laughs> we polish show them. Merry Christmas. Same to you, sir. My dad's just putting out straw with the spreader bale. These guys are all running up his end. I'll get it. Getting these last few bits done. I'm ready to go. Uh, go on, turn this 6 9 big stuff. Let's hit the road. He's still in Huddersfield, so him, I'll not see the kids until this evening. And there's not a great deal going to be to do in the middle of the day, so yeah, it's nice just to, to get out. Just come up here so I don't get me, don't get me boots mucky. Right, we're off. He's drove past me then. I could say a word. He's locked me out now. <laughs> we're ready. You know, we pick anybody. I know. <laughs> Get this, eh? That heads up that there's two engines at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We'll find out, see if, see if, see if it's a late turn ups, but um, yeah. <laughs> a little 
little video. There's more than two in the trace. There's more than two. So it's getting better already. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Big Yorkshire sign. Used to be a really good uh, airport around here. But shut down. Yeah. Doncaster yeah, Airport. Used to be fantastic. It? Are they? Mm -hmm. Good, I hope they are. It's brilliant. It was ruined. And we're just passing Amazon, not .co.uk or .com or whatever, but the um, <laughs> machinery. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Be nice, wouldn't well, it? I bet that's nobody, twelve minutes. Yeah, yeah, keep it quiet, Mick. Come on. Mick, see, it makes. It's not John Deere, but it's got some green on it, so he's ended up <laughs> stopping. <laughs> oh, it locked out, Mick. What can we say? Then you walk up. <laughs> Big wheel at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Oh, I said that I've got a In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Mosham Road, <laughs> B1396. Very, very flat round here. And I think this place we're going to is actually a pumping station. So we've got loads of ditches. And what are you say, make it be to pump water like That's to higher good. ground? No, I reckon we should be to do with it. Yeah. Pumping station. Look at this. Well then, don't I? Is everyone taking uh, advantage of these good conditions of spraying? Is that an agri pack as well? Yeah, that's a beast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's huge. Very nice. River at side of us. I guess this is a defence. Oh, I'm here. Got it, yeah? This is the pumping station. A little uh, petrol grey Fergus here. Nicely done. Oh, it's a diesel one. And Tracy's likes where he's put mirror on exhaust. Little wheels, aren't they? You can get yeah. bikes with bigger wheels, yeah. can't you? Hodgson mm -hmm. Major. And a Marshall. That's got some age to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Impressive, that cool. Lots of little engines going. To me, like that, to grab the the waste that comes down, clean it off the, the grills that are in there, or it comes into the pumping house. I would guess. So Mick was saying, like, it looks like you can grab it off, and then you go pull the trailer, a uh, little pit that's down there. See all the bits that are in. Come down the uh, come down the channel. I was looking at them. Though big electric motors. Mixes is probably like some impellers or turbines to run, run water out. I don't know, somebody will know, let us know in comments. But they're big then. Come in here and yeah, there's um, some proper engines in here. In here. Real size things. Jeez. Marshall. Oh, 
the size of that. Jeez. But in here, we've got 135 horsepower. It says it on here. Engine. So like, R130. Tractor's got more horsepower than this engine here. I think this might have a bit more <laughs> torque, maybe. But um, this would be driving a turbine for a David Brown gearbox. David Brown get everywhere, don't they, mate? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, what a beast. It's even got a steering wheel, mate. Where's it go? <laughs> <laughs> but I think some water could go through there, like. Yeah. That's uh, serious, isn't it? Beyond that pump that's over there, mate. See that belt? Yes. I had to get one of them for a tater uh, riddle. Yeah. Potato yes. riddle. Yeah, yeah. So you can't get that size belt no. anymore, so that them it's like a chain yeah. that you put together. You make yeah. yeah. They're expensive but they're good. <laughs> Anybody wants to read a bit more, just pause it and you can look at that. So these can pump half a million gallons per hour. Yeah, as we've just read on here. Installed in 1910 they were. And here is the engine itself. Wow. Now we're getting the guided. Oh, wow, yeah. The boilers are in here, aren't they? Wow. Yeah. Wow. We couldn't wrong way around, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So go on then, please. Uh, so, uh, we've got the Marshall boilers, and originally there were two Marshall uh, tank compounds, steam yeah. engines, uh, running there and there. So, huh? it's, it's fairly unusual in, in that. Mm. Um, the boilers themselves are rotted through, and uh, where they sit on uh, brick walls, yeah. either side, um, I've, I've been down through that little hole in there, and there's, there's holes, this big hole way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did you draw straw, uh, short straw then to get in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look very inviting going yeah. down there. Well, uh, I've been known as a boiler ferret for going inside and everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. The, the, the fire, uh, the hot gas is going to from there, down underneath, right. down the side, and then back again right. to get as much, much heat yeah. into the steam. Yeah. Uh, can you see the, the hanging weights up there? At the back of there, there's the yeah. slides, yeah. Um, which would uh, cut off or control the, the draft through to the outside. So this would have been the coal store yeah. initially. And how, how many people would they have had shoveling into there then? Uh, you'd have had a stoker all the time, a ranger yeah. man. It's around 24, 24 hours. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. 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 So there's a tank up there. He was just saying they'd collect as much um, rainwater as possible because it's a lot softer than the water around here to run through the boilers. And this um, this is what pumps it around the boiler, the water. It's a small little uh, engine to do that. So this running from this side. Uh, 
and if it was working proper then these would be bolted together and then they'd run these pumps. Pete's been telling me for a quiz question, he says, what's that for? And we reckon that's for exactly the same purpose. So what would you do with that? Let us know in the comments. Me, me, <laughs> oh, me, no Tracy. <laughs> These pumps running, they have to fill them with water, so they fill it with water and then they've got a vacuum pump. I think it said it's one of those over on that side, um, which primes it basically and then they then they engage that bit or they would do if it was working it's not it's doesn't actually pump anymore the electrics are the ones that do it but yeah a set up for tensioner tension the pump really over engineering don't make them highly used stuff saying the steam engines <laughs> yeah. So we're saying normally they have this running, but the boiler's yeah. out of test. A minute. Yeah. They've got it. Yeah. They are fixing it, and it will be back up and running. Yeah. Well, that'll be pretty impressive yeah. to see yeah. that going. Yeah, very much so. Look at the detail in that. The engineering that's gone into it. it really, is very impressive. I don't know if you just saw the tacker meter on there, the hour clock on this machine. I'm going to show you it. There's not many engines that run this long. 69,500. No! 't run away with your handle. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at it starting. Yeah. Wow. And all the oil pots to fill up. Uh, oh, yeah. Lubricators. Yeah. yeah, wow. That's a little belt that runs that. Uh, Massive piston. That's the David Brown gearbox. Five years ago, I had some. Yeah. If you will let us have it, to do it because the machine does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's fine, yeah. But say, leaving them stood for too long. No. Yeah. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want to. Well, these bits here were under where that blue um, casing is at the back and then on top of that was that gearbox which was coupled to the engine so that gearbox was coupled onto there wow so we've come back outside and then the electric yeah. ones was it kind of about earlier aren't they they're just electric the modern, the the modern. modern. yeah <laughs> So that's where the water goes in yeah. to pump it up and yeah. away. 
to the next level. I'm coming into here to leave in, we've learnt a lot more. So the boilers are in there, and that would be originally the um, <coughs> exhaust, the chimney. It just runs on um, a little boiler, just because it doesn't actually run the pump. But uh, we're just going to look at the river now. And you can see where it's pumped off the land into the river, which is higher than where we've just been, because we just walked uphill to get to the river. What your tool look like then? Have you watched Titanic? Ah, but that's no, is it front to front to boat? No, I'd, I'd throw her off <laughs> So they must be like flood de flood defences along yeah. here. Yeah, so they they'd get it off the barge off the Trent. It yeah. says Trent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying right. And then um, shovel it in and barrow it into there to run it. Run the pumps. You can see the pipe work that the water goes through. It's not it's not a uh, 20 mil fitting, is it? Rose! Rose! <laughs> <laughs> Jack! No, it was Jack, but isn't it? I don't know about Jack, Danny. We've got back to the farm. My dad's looks like he's doing a mix. Mix playing with dog. Farewell to these guys. <laughs> we'll get some cattle fed. See you, mate. See you, mate. Just emptying off the mix, got a few cattle to get out and feed ground and we're done. But this is a mix of engine for Harry Lincoln who's five. Um, it was supposed to be for yesterday, Harry, but it's a Boxing Day shout out rather than a Christmas one. Um, sorry about that. If you want to get your name in the video like Harry has, then there's a link in the description below to the Just Give It page where we ask for a small donation to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. We've raised over seven and a half thousand pounds, which is fantastic. And thanks to everyone for um, donating and watching through these segments of the videos. Right, I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna get some of these cattle fed and then the job can be done. Hello, hello. Yes, you're beautiful. You are, you're very beautiful. We're just feeding out these now. I said I'd show you it by biting out. Up. The mix on, and we'll get this blower, straw blower pulled in the shed. Mix tipped off, that pulled in the shed, job done. Everything pulled into the shed and pretty much done for today. If you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button, uh, subscribe if you've not already, and big shout out to Pumping House Mick, as, uh, as Tracy was calling him. They are looking for younger members to join the society because he said, basically it's an aging population that's got all this knowledge on how to look after these machines like the steam engines and, and that uh, big diesel engine that you saw. But if it's not passed down to the younger generation, the knowledge on how to fix the different parts of it, it's just, just gonna be lost in it. And things do have to move on. We, we all know that, we, you know, we're not still running around with ancient tractors working them, but as a piece of history, I think it needs preserving. So um, if people aren't gonna put the work in to do it and to learn about it, then it's gonna be lost. And I think that would be a shame because <laughs> that engine's done 700,000 hours pretty much, hasn't it? And it could do another 700,000 and Today we're in living a throwaway society. We need to, I don't know, yeah, we need to, we need to keep these skills of the past, don't we? Um, which I said, get get yourself a YouTube channel and let's get it all on YouTube. But you still need that hands-on experience. You can't just do everything from a, a YouTube video, can you? So, so yeah. Anyway, if uh, if anybody is interested in that, I'll put a link in the description below, and I'm sure um, they will be more than welcome. Uh, welcoming to new members to join the society and keep those things running because um, it was very impressive. We enjoyed our day there and um, it'd be a shame if they got turned off. So, so yeah, anyway, enough of my ramblings. Thank you very much for watching yet again and we will see you tomorrow. Business.